uh, UFOs and such like. I began filming UFOs in 1999 and uh, I was filmed by military helicopter, which we'll go into, uh, and had numerous in incidents with unidentified flying objects. Uh, one of which was the River Ouse incident in Selby, which involved two RAF jet fighters. Uh, and to cut a long story short, on that particular night, I was walking home from the gym. I was feeling very depressed with myself, which you would be, having been subjected to what I've been subjected to. And uh, I was stood on the riverbank. There's a, an RAF base near us called RAF Church Fenton, which does routine training fights, and these jets were flying around. And one of these jets, which I think was a tornado, uh, at low speed, a tornado can manoeuvre itself at low speed. It has the same speed as a very small Cessna aircraft. It came over, and the pilot distinctly flashed his lights on and off at me. So I don't know whether it was a Harrier or a tornado. A Harrier can hover, in case you didn't know, but these planes were there. I proceeded to look at these planes and watch what they were doing, and I felt this silence in the air. It's as if the birds are not there, everything's silent, and you feel like this vacuumless silence and you know that something is going to happen. And so I, I walked, I felt compelled to walk to this farmer's field, and within the farmer's field there was this almighty flash of light. It was, it was just unbelievable, the flash. And what happened next was one of the aircraft in the background that was flying about suddenly hit his afterburners and went flying after, just, just suddenly went flying after something. And when I looked, you could actually see that there was a, an orb UFO followed by the aircraft, and they were flying together like that. And the pilots, I'd like to meet the pilots of the incident of that night. I really would like to meet them because they know and I know what we saw. Uh, and I'm sure that they would like to discuss it, but I'm sure due to secrecy laws or whatever they are, uh, they are unable to. I think I've got an image of, of where the incident happened. Um, it was taken on my mobile phone, but basically this is, um, if we can just see, the UFO object comes straight across upwards to the upper right with the tornado over the two factory buildings there, and the field is more to the left. So that's how the incident happened there. And it's an incident that I'll never forget. And you'll see on my footage a load of orbs and flying, um, flying objects. Words 